double dive aerial. We're just gonna do two aerials back to back very quick, no filler in between. So I'm gonna start off with a dolphin dive aerial. And while we're talking about aerials, if there are any aerials that you're ever unsure of, they're intimidating in any sort of way, or you live in an apartment, you just don't wanna make a whole lot, lot of noise underneath you, you can always flip a hat, a pillow, or even a shipping bag. So there's, there's tons of things you could use to mimic the wrist rotation, direction, um, all of that. The only thing that's not going to work the same probably is the catch on it. You will actually need to use nunchucks or a stick of some sort in order to practice the catch. But get the aerial, then don't worry about catch. So the dolphin aerial is just going, just like we would start from a shoulder pass, we're going to move straight down. We're going to keep going. And we're going to allow this to go up back over our shoulder. So as soon as you hit six o'clock here, you're gonna kind of hook your hand, let this handle roll off of those first two fingers there, give yourself a little bit of hook. not that difficult of an area. Not saying it's gonna be easy, but it's not that difficult. The second one can be a little tricky. So, as soon as we catch the dolphin, we catch it in a front grip, we're gonna immediately flip it back into another aerial by almost doing a front to back hand roll, except instead of rolling it, we're actually going to toss it and we're gonna flip it on the inside of our body. So it goes straight over the shoulder and then to the inside of the body. So you can practice that without the dolphin dive just by doing your figure eights and then just throwing an aerial. The catch, we are going to catch them both with the same hand, which is going to be a little awkward. That's definitely the hard part. So for the catch, I would immediately catch it and then turn so that it's in a front plane. I think that'll make it easier. Um, you can catch it with the other hand, but you're probably gonna end up in a back grip. Mm -hmm. 